one of Lightroom's strengths is batch applying settings from, you know, taking settings from one photo and batch batching them all out to a whole bunch of other photos so you don't have to do it one at a time. And included in that is taking presets and adding a preset to one photo and then applying that preset to a whole bunch of other photos. So there's a few different ways that we can do that. We're gonna go over all of them here in this tutorial. My name is Matt Klaskowski. Welcome to the latest video. I'm actually gonna use one of my own presets in here. And if you check the link in the description, I'll put that up on the website if you wanna download it for free and, and give it a try on your own photos as well. So let's dive in here. I'll share my screen with you and we'll move over into the develop module. So the first thing would be to, to figure out which preset you want to use. Okay. So I'm going to go to my, my presets panel here and I'm going to scroll down. I've got a, a landscape folder. It's got a bunch of presets inside of it. And as I scroll through here, I can just hover over the later versions of Lightroom will give you a preview of what these will look like. So uh, a couple of decent ones in here. I, I actually like the bold one, even though it's got fall colors. I thought that one was a little strong on this photo, but I like the bold preset. It works well for photos with a little bit of atmosphere and I'm like this photo. So once I've settled on the preset that I want, now I have a couple of options on how I could apply that to a bunch of different photos. My favorite way, and I'll show you that one first, which is to go to the library module, all right? And what you would do is click on a photo and then, oh, by the way, and you have to be in grid mode. So just if you go to library view, make sure you press G for grid so you get to see the grid view. Click on one photo, shift click on another photo. And then over on the right hand side, I've opened up the quick develop panel. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't use the quick develop panel for anything but this, okay? Uh, I don't find it very useful. I think if you wanted to quickly add exposure and shadow and highlight settings to something, I, I think you can do it just as fast in the develop module and you know, no need for the quick develop panel. But what it does do is it gives us this little option at the top here, which we don't really get anywhere else, which is it says saved preset. And this gives you access to all of your develop module presets. So if I look inside the Matt K landscape folder, I can see all of my presets inside of there. So I could go ahead and click on that bold preset. And if you watch the thumbnails, when I click on it, now you will see those thumbnails get updated with those changes. Okay, so that's the first and really one of my favorite ways to do that. Uh, it is a little bit inconvenient because you do have to leave the develop module and there are some advantages to applying this in the next way that I'll show you here. So what we'll do is I'll come up here to the edit menu and I'll just hit undo bold, which is basically saying, hey, undo everything we just did there. Okay, let's go back, take that same photo into develop and I'll, I'll reset it. So let's approach this from a different aspect, which is a preset is just applying settings to all of your, your panels here inside of Lightroom. So when I come over here and I click on bold, I've just applied a bunch of settings to this. And when you apply a bunch of settings to something, that means that you can easily synchronize your settings. So in this case, and again, I'm just gonna reset this. So if you think about the way Lightroom works, well, if I have a photo I'm working on, but if I shift click down here in the film strip and I select all of these photos down here, you're gonna see a little button appear down there at the bottom and it says sync and there's a little toggle switch next to it that I can click and that will change it to auto sync. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is as I make a change to anything, it's gonna make a change to all those photos down here in the film strip. You can just see they all got a lot darker. I'll go reset the exposure and they all got a lot brighter now, which means now if I go over to my presets and I know ahead of time, like, hey, I know I'm gonna want these, all these photos to look the same and I know I want a preset to do it, that I can come over here to my bold preset, click on it and you will see all of those photos down there in the film strip get updated with those changes. So again, that one's not the one I use all the time, but it's, it's actually not bad. There, there's, there's really not a bad case I can say for using it. I tend to just gravitate toward the other one. The third way, which is, is interesting, it's just, it's got a little bit of a catch to it, all right? And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna go up here to the edit menu and undo that preset change I just did. And I'm gonna turn off, um, I'm gonna turn off the, the little sync checkbox down here. The third way, and by, by the way, guys, you could also apply a preset to a photo, like you know, I can hit bold on this one. I'm not even gonna count this as one of the three ways, but you can then apply it to that photo. You can then shift click down here 
and you could choose this little sync button. Okay, we don't have to turn on auto sync because auto sync wouldn't really give us what we want now because we've already done the changes. So we can click the sync button and you could go through here and turn on the settings. I, I, I counted that one out of this because then you'd have to know what panels you want to include in all of this. And if there was a crop on any of the photos already, it could clear that out. So that's really not gonna be my favorite option. But the other way would be to do this right at import. Meaning come up here to the file menu when you go into import your photos, you would select all of your photos. And on the right hand side, you're gonna see a little section that says apply during import. Okay, so what you could choose is go to develop settings. And again, that's gonna show you all of your preset folders inside of here. Okay, so I've got this landscape folder and I'll pop up here and I'll click on bold. Now, as I import photos, it's going to apply those preset that or that preset to all of those photos as it brings them in automatically. And it works great for some people. My personal preference is not to do it that way. I just find I end up undoing things more often than not. But again, everybody's workflow is a little bit different there. And then we have to follow this up with a question that, that always comes up when I talk about presets and, and what we're talking about here. And that is, well, what happens if I stack presets? Like I click on one preset and then I click on another one. After that, do they stack? They don't necessarily stack in terms of, you know, layer order that you, you would think, but they will let you apply multiple presets. And what's gonna happen is this, you know, preset number one has a certain exposure level and preset number two has a different exposure level. Well, the, the last preset you applied is the exposure that's gonna take place for that. Now, if preset number two doesn't do anything with exposure, then whatever preset number one had for exposure is where it'll stay. So you can apply multiple presets on top of each other. It's just whatever the most recent one you apply can negate settings that you might've applied from a preset that's below it. You're also gonna see a couple of videos pop up above me. If you like Lightroom, if you like presets, uh, these are two great places to go to learn a little bit more uh, about all this stuff and keep you moving along your Lightroom journey.